Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to include PHP files and also how to add PHP code directly on the WordPress blog posters or pages. Uh, right now, I am in my WordPress blog, greatdiscounts.co.in and he, this is the home page. The first method using the object HTML element. In Notepad++, there is a small PHP code and this code is on my local drive. Let me save this file. Now I will upload this PHP file into my GoDaddy remote server. Let's log into my GoDaddy account. After I log into my GoDaddy account, right now I am in my file manager of greatdiscounts.co.in in domain. Let's add that PHP file here. Click upload, add file and that file contents on the desktop. The file name is php and this is a file i want to include double click copy this file name let's log into my wordpress dashboard go to posters all posters on this post i want to php files click edit The first method I will show you using the object element. Object data. The file name is this is the file name. This file name I saved on the root directory. So I'm not I don't have any path here. Height 500. width 500 I'm closing the object let's update this file go to my wordpress blog I'm refreshing the page see here the PHP code displays on WordPress blog posters. Check the file also. PHP code display on WordPress blog and one image. And this is the output, the PHP code. Now I will show you the second method, install a plugin. The second method, you need to install plugin. Go to plugins, add new. And the search plugins, Insert PHP enter and one plugin for snippet and the other one is for inserting PHP on WordPress. I am installing both. Install now. Activate. Let's add the another one. A snippet plugin click install now click activate and here are the two plugins now go to posters all posters click edit after I install and active the insert PHP plugin, now we can able to write our code here. But one condition, but the condition is usually we will write the question mark PHP and the PHP code ends with question mark tag, closing tag. Instead of this, we need square brackets insert underscore PHP. slash insert underscore php now we can write here php code echo this is php code
account I'm inserting the HTML text box here input type is equals to text value is equals to name click update let's delete this code click update click preview changes see here this is PHP code and the text box let's flip back to the WordPress dashboard now we'll check the snippet codes so go to PHP code snippets add new PHP code snippet and this one is I'm tracking name of PHP is today's date PHP create the snippet will you hear the snippet short code copy this one uh, I want to use this one on widget go to appearance click widgets now available widgets is an insert PHP snippet click on it add widget here the insert widget snippet is here today's date choose snippet I created the today's date snippet click save and now I want to uh, add this snippet below the search one let's go back to my wordpress blog again we'll refresh the page see below the search box today's date and here is the today's date that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos